What's the crack lads? Welcome back to the channel. Just a really short and sweet video today because obviously Monday is tomorrow which will be brand new players into the database and on for your game. So just going to take a quick preview as to what will be coming or what should be coming tomorrow because we have a couple of bits and pieces to get through. So this has been updated at eFootballDB.com uh, and this seems to be another European club selection attackers. This pack seems to be coming. It's dated for the 16th of October, which is tomorrow. You've got a couple of decent players in here. You've got David, you've got Diaz, you've got Gorai or Goyrai, uh, you've got Inesri, Tete, you've got a couple of other uh, pieces here. Um, center forward, left wing, and right wing. Edwards obviously looks decent enough. I think, to be honest with you now, the way that they're doing it and dropping the epic boosters, like the legend boosters, we'll get into that in a second. Because if you go on here and you take a look at the, the epic players that are now epic boosters, you will see the certain players that have already been released and that are yet to be released have actually got their assets, like their faces and their actual uh, render for the card. So Drogba has not been released yet, but he's actually got his render there. Nedved and Zico have been released and they've already got their assets there. So the ones here that have got a card uh, on eFootballDB but don't aren't released yet are probably the ones that will get Monday. That's usually how they do it. They add them on the Thursday and then they'll be released on the Monday. So De Dennis Burkham adds uh, is with Drogba as well. And then very interestingly, we also have Paulo Sergio and we do have as well as that Frank Ribery. So we could get a double dip here. Ribery is at the end here in between Shevchenko, Beckham and Dabavia. Will we get a double dip where we'll have Ribery and Sergio and then have the two Premier League boys, Drogba, um, as well as having Dennis Burkamp? That would be interesting. I mean, Drogba and Burkamp would be interesting. Maybe we'll have four in the pack. That would be the best. Uh, I think if they had a... Listen, man, we will get into that again. We've talked about it, how easy it is to get some of these players and how much it can cost sometimes. But we will get into that again. But looking at a couple of the way that they're dropping these, right? That seems to be the way that they're doing it, right? So for all these individual cards here, these are part of the European club selection. David, this guy is an absolute beast. His standard card has actually got 35 levels. So it's not without the realms of possibility to say that this card might have like 30 levels, maybe 33. These levels will be fully updated. And this guy is actually quite a beast, lad, with, lads, with the boost that you can get to him as well. Because he can be a bit of a run and gun for you. But his pace is really, really quick. And of course, you can also get that lower body strength up to 88 as well. Finishing at 88. And if you want the run and gun, you can pop the dribbling up. And this is just what we're thinking his pace could be. Um, it depends on how much you train him up. If you're using Ten Hag, you could actually get another one into dexterity, which would have 99 acceleration. And trust me, his skills, everything. He's a really, really good player. I'd say Diaz is also the pack uh, selection pick here as well, or the pick of the pack. Uh, he's a very interesting one. But as I said, you can check out all of the guys there that you see, right? Now, onto the legends themselves. So these are already going to have boosters with them. So obviously, this guy is going to probably have speed and acceleration boosted up. We'll probably get Paulo Sergio. That will mix it up with Frank Ribery. Ribery is an exciting one, lads. Obviously, he's one of the best Pez players to ever uh, be in that series back in MLO and Master League and stuff. Uh, he's down as a 30-year-old in this as a prolific winger. His pace isn't blisteringly fast. I mean, if he does have 26 levels, um, we did have the version of him there, which is the epic booster, but we had a standard card that was once upon a time in the game as well in the database, age 39. So this is a nine-year-old card, you could say, back when he was in his prime with Bayern uh, Munchen. So... 80 acceleration isn't too bad, but even if he has 26 levels, which I think could be higher than this, because even if you go 10 into that, you're only going to get 90 acceleration and the dribbling is going to be quite high, but it's still not, I wouldn't say like meta meta um, for a player like Reber that they'll probably want to add as one of the best Bundesliga type cards, like, you know, because his speed, so I reckon he'll have probably like about 33 or four levels. That's just a prediction that I have here. And also with Paulo Sergio, he's going to be all about pace. So he's down obviously as well as a prolific winger. I think the four of these could be in a pack, hopefully that they all release at the same time so that you've got more chance of getting them. Um, this guy did have a card here as well, of course, um, that I don't think ever really released. Uh, I could be wrong on that. And then we have Drogba and Burkham. So Drogba is going to be an interesting one. Again, I think that this legend card of Drogba was a very, very good card. He had different epics there as well. But again, you're looking at this guy being a very, very good target man slash goal poacher, similar to kind of Haaland. Very low balance, but everything else is going to be really good. You're not going to be able to dribble with him, but you don't really want to anyway. This guy is going to be like up in the air uh, for, for challenges. He'll have fairly good, uh, you know, 
getting into the box ability and stuff like that and he'll be able to finish and then of course Burkham we'll all we'll do training guides on all of these guys uh tomorrow and see how they go but Burkham is all going to be about kind of like that Harry Kane style player blending everything together having a really nice mix of stats and a really nice mix of everything really um including his ability his shooting and his pace uh, is going to be a little bit affected with that, but he's not that type of player. I mean, he's more like an attacking midfielder. So that is it, lads, for me, short and sweet. Let me know if these players interest you and whether you will spin or skip tomorrow. And of course, on Monday, we will be live streaming tomorrow and we will have all of these training guides, reviews, breakdowns, and gameplay reviews as well when we do our live stream tomorrow and we do a bit of a pack opening. So yeah, the big one I'm waiting for is Collar, but until then, we'll have to make do with Burkamp, Ribery, Drogba and Sergio. So let's see what comes tomorrow, but I think that's what it's going to be. So that's just a little preview. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you later.